hey y'all welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome if you've been here welcome back i am getting my life together to go out tonight um it's saturday night and i just threw on a little t-shirt and my windbreakers i need to go shopping for some clothes i'm about to do my edges so I can get the heck up out of here and enjoy the night. I'm also going to bring my drone to see if I can get some drone footage because I've never filmed at night in Charlotte. So that should be fun. Got my lip gloss and my lip liner in case I need to reapply. And I did my makeup. I didn't use any foundation. I think it looks really good. Where's my edge control? Here's the edge control that I'll be using edge booster in the scent coconut banana i just use it because my hairstylist uses it well mari uses it on my hair when she does my braids just a quick little swoop de doop yesterday i did a braid out and it looked real good but it was humid outside so it didn't last long. I'm excited to go outside. It's 71 degrees outside. I don't know if that if that's chilly or what. I'm gonna step outside on the balcony before I leave. But usually I bring a jacket everywhere I go. But yeah, y'all, I'm excited to get some drinky drinks. The bathroom. I'm running a little late. Not really late, like there is no set time, but we could have been left. I could have been left if uh, I didn't have to put my hair in a bun, but it is what it is. I can't forget to grab another battery before I leave so I can vlog. I'm starting doing my, hair, my makeup like this more because I feel like I still got the full makeup effect without foundation. What? 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 I don't even like wearing foundation for real life. What's the point? My skin has come a long way. Y'all know that due to my my skincare journey when I was on Accutane and all that. But yeah, I'm done. So I'll update you guys in a second. It just did not stand a chance tonight, boy. I'm gonna get it to where my makeup just still looks good after being out for a few hours. I ordered another battery for my drone and it came in the mail on Wednesday, I think. Today's Saturday. I have a drone shoot coming up soon, so that's why I ordered them. So now I have a total of three batteries. And I was able to fly my drone. Here's some footage if you guys wanna see. I mean, you guys are gonna see it anyway. Yeah. Leave me out the comments, leave me out the nonsense Speaking out of context, people need some content Niggas trying to keep up, shit is not a contest Whipping Ben's concept, heaven sent, God sent At least that's what my mom Guess who has a package? My leggings finally came in I think that's all that's in here, some leggings So yeah I ordered some more Tom Tigger leggings. I'm going to be doing a YouTube shorts and a TikTok video of me trying them on. So make sure you guys are following me on those platforms. You can find me on TikTok at Forever Mariah P. And you already know where to find me on YouTube. Yes, I have an Instagram as well. Here's my Instagram if you guys want to follow me. I'm on there as well. I post on my stories a lot. So if you guys are ever missing me when I'm not posting on YouTube, y'all can follow me over there. But like I said, I ordered some more of these. I already have, I have this black pair that I recently just ordered. It came like three days ago. Um, what inspired me to get some more was my blue pair, my first blue pair. Y'all will see it in the try on haul. So I got some more because 
These leggings are literally so bomb. So cute and so comfortable. I got a coral pair. Yeah, there's a scrunch, but when they're on, it's not dramatic, if that makes sense. Like the scrunch is there, but it's not giving pants up your butt cheek. Here's a black pair. Can y'all see? The black leggings, the coral shorts. I have this baby blue pair that I also got in the shorts. Oh my gosh, y'all, I'm so excited because I love these leggings. I also ordered a cute graphics t-shirt. This periwinkle, bro, what? This eats, I'm not gonna lie. Everything you guys see in my videos are typically in my description box. So make sure you guys check my Amazon storefront so you guys can shop these items if you're interested. And the last thing that I got is this t-shirt. I really thought the back was really cute. It says, it's okay to not be okay, just don't give up, period. This is a medium. It's fairly big for it to be a medium. I need to go back and read the details to make sure I didn't order an oversized medium t-shirt. Cause I really didn't think it was this big, but the quality is there for sure. What is this? This is nice. I did not, like this is really nice. I'm not gonna lie. Again, check my description box if you guys are interested in what the heck is going on and what I'm buying. Today's Tuesday. I'm tired of being in these four walls, so I'm about to pack my work bag and find somewhere to get some work done. I have some busy times are coming very soon. I have to get some branding together for the Women's World Cup. We're doing this cool thing. I can't really talk about it, but that's gonna take most of my time at my full-time job. And I also have some work that I need to work on for my clients. Hopefully I can complete a logo package today, but that'll probably be after hours. I really just wanna get out the house while I work my full-time job. Did my hair, my makeup, I did a video on this. TikTok, YouTube shorts, check them out. So yeah, let me clean up. I did not eat breakfast. I'm starving. I went to the gym this morning. I'm about to take some supplements really quick. My morning vitamins. I really want some Chick-fil-A for lunch. I really don't need to buy any lunch. I have a salad. I'm going to eat this salad before I leave. I really want Chick-fil-A, but this discipline in this fitness journey is so hard. Telling myself no when I want to tell myself yes. Ugh. Like, once you get your discipline down, it gets easier. So I'm just trying to tell myself no more and other people too. That's the topic for another day. So I got some laundry that I need to do, but here's the blue pair. My very first blue pair of the Tom Tigger leggings. They're inside out right now. But this color eats. It looks so good on my skin complexion. I'll worry about laundry when I get back home. I'll more than likely only be out for like two to three hours. I just wanna get a big chunk of my workload done. Granted, my to-do list is way shorter than last week. Last week and the week before that was crazy. Sometimes I feel bad because I feel like a lot of my friends and family think just because I work from home and my job, a lot of people look at it as not a, a lot of people look at graphic design as just play work. And I don't know where this is coming from. Like my job is a job and not only am I working full time, but I also do freelancing on the side. And most of my daytime work is for my full time job. And once I'm done with that, I'm clocking into my freelancing. Thank God I love what I do because I don't know, like, I remember when I first changed my major, if you guys don't know, I changed my major from English education to visual communication. I transferred schools as well. I It took me six years to graduate college due to joining the army. I uh, was deployed. Like, I made so many sacrifices to get to where I am today. And I'm very proud of myself. If you're hesitant about changing your major, listen to your gut. I'm so glad I changed my major. I can't believe I was about to be an English teacher. I have a passion for being creative and I love what I do. I love being creative. I love designing. I love videography, photography, like anything in the creative world I love to do and I do not regret changing my major. Okay, I did not mean to go into a tangent, but that was in my heart so I had to say it. Wash my hands, eat this, 
so we can leave. Sometimes I feel like I'm doing the most, but then again, I feel like I'm not doing enough. So I'm also making content for my TikTok. I am about to, I'm really excited to post more on TikTok because I feel like it's helping me tremendously. So this salad originally comes with this dressing. It's kind of sweet and I don't really like it. I'm not gonna do too much. I really need to start getting the healthier option of ranch. I don't know why they put the bag in there like that. I'm eating this just in time because it was just about to start getting wilted. Ooh. That Chick fil A would have been good. But as Ken Stetic says, we got food at the house. We got food at the house, episode one. I spent my hard earned money in the grocery store. I'm gonna make it work. We gonna figure it out. So now, when I get to where I'm going, I still don't know which coffee shop, what I'm doing. Hopefully I get an idea once I get in the car. But now, once I, but now when I get there, I won't have to buy any food. I can get straight on my laptop. Mm -hmm. Buckle up my bag because the Charlotte gals and guys drive like they have somewhere to be so bad. Put on my seatbelt <laughs> so I know where I'm going. I hope they have free Wi Fi. If they don't, I guess I have to use my hotspot, or if I have enough energy, I'll go somewhere else. Hi, I was calling to see if you guys have free Wi Fi. Yeah, yeah, it's an open network, so um, when you come in, you can just put in your email, then your um, laptop or phone or whatever should be able to connect. Awesome, thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. I should have asked him if... Girl! I should have asked him if it was busy, but... Can y'all see me? Is this good? Um, yeah, I'm here. I'm parked on another side of the building because where I'm located, there's other stores and stuff. I guess a plaza, but yeah. I have to use the bathroom, so let me hurry up so I can go inside and we can get this party started. I was gonna leave at four. Ooh, that car almost got hit. I know y'all saw that. This is just some craziness. This is crazy. This is why I don't go outside. Because how and why? How am I in this right now? At this time? Today is Thursday. I'm getting ready to go to my apartment gym to do a quick little 15 to 20 minute workout before I head over to burn boot camp. Today, I think our protocol is upper body. So I do wanna go ahead and go get my own little warm up in cause I don't burn a lot of calories during upper body. I don't know why, I just never do. If you guys hear something in the background, it's my dishwasher, so I'm sorry about that. But yeah, and another reason is because I'm doing a Apple Watch challenge with my friend Gabrielle. 
and I know that she is going to be competitive. I think it'll be a fun little challenge that we can do together and it's pushing me to want to do more. I'm very tired, I'm a little sleepy, but I got my pre-workout ready already. I'm ready to go, got my water. And I'm also wearing my pink leggings and my new t-shirt from Amazon, the one that I showed you guys the other day. I low-key wanna make a quick trip to Aldi after I leave Burn Boot Camp, but I'll bring a bag just in case. I forgot to show y'all my new sneakers came in last night as well. I think these are the Metcon 4s. They're so cute. I need to break them in. I got to stop working out on an empty stomach, child, but I don't realize I'm hungry until it's time for me to freaking get to the gym or go to the gym. Come on now, don't embarrass me. My foot ain't that big. Yeah, these are nice. I can already tell I'm have better stability when it comes to a certain movement. I was literally just looking up what are the best workout shoes on TikTok and all the girls said the Nike Metcon 4s. I'm gonna give my review on them after today's workout. I'm back from the gym, part two. I'm at Chick-fil-A. This is my second day in a row getting Chick-fil-A breakfast. I'm probably not gonna eat it until I get out of my first meeting this morning. Proceeds to eat anyway because that strawberry jelly gonna do it for me every time. Mmm. Too good. Now that that meeting's over, I can finish eating, get in the shower, and get some freaking work done. Kind of want to leave to go somewhere to get work done, to get out of the apartment. Because I don't know, just being around other people that are working, it gets me going. I kind of want to go back to where I was two days ago, but I think I'm about to go to Coco and the director or somewhere downtown. And All right, just like that, I'm ready to go. I showered, did my hair, put a little bit of makeup on. And now I'm about to export my external hard drive, pack my laptops up, and we can head out. I don't think I will be bringing lunch with me if I get hungry. I'll get something while I'm out, but I feel like I'll I'll make it a few hours without any food because, I don't know, that Chick-fil-A felt a little heavy. Scent of the day will be Burberry Her. I think that's the name of this. I honestly forgot, but that sounds about right. I'm going to go to my favorite coffee shop just because I don't have time to search for a new one and because I know that their Wi-Fi is really good. I really need to invest in a car tripod because when I'm in a car, I just have so much on my mind I want to talk about, but holding the camera can be very dangerous. So yeah, I don't really trust these cars. I made it y'all, it feels so good outside. I'm walking to the coffee shop right now. This is honestly the best my makeup has ever kept up. 
I'm a little shiny like I am usually, but not as oily and greasy as I usually look. But I do want to try a new setting powder. Someone told me on my TikTok that I made of me doing my makeup to use, I think it's called One Sided or One Size. I think it's a Patrick Star um, line. But yeah. My parking meter had or has 44 minutes left, but when I was sitting in the place, it looked like it wanted to rain. Or it looked like it wants to storm. The trees were blowing. The skies were dark. So I packed my stuff up and I used the restroom so I can get home in peace without having to pee. And as soon as I walk out, it's hot and it's sunny. But by that time, my stuff is already packed up and I'm ready to go. So I'll be finishing my work day at the crib. But I'm not really tripping because I wanted to start dinner early anyway. Because I'll be working for the rest of the night. I have as little work to do tomorrow as possible because tomorrow is Friday. I just made it home. Instead of cooking right now like I thought I was going to do. I'm going to finish what I started in the coffee shop. And then once I get to that stopping point that I want to get at, I'll start cooking. I plan to be there for a certain amount of time. And little inconveniences, like when something just doesn't go as planned, it can sometimes mess me up. And the slightest inconvenience will make me not want to do anything. So instead of doing what I want to do, which is start cooking, I'm going to go ahead and finish this because I still have plenty enough time to get this done. And... That's what I wanted to do. I'm going to turn a show on, on my desktop. I guess I'll listen to the rest of the No For Short podcast. Not these two graphics out because I have other stuff that I need to do. There's always something that needs to be done, I feel like. Now I'm in the kitchen, five seconds later. I'm not going to cook dinner, but I do need a snack to eat. Chips and dip. What is uh, and then I got to put dishes up. The list doesn't end. The cheese and the salsa from Aldi is so good. Low key, I need to go grocery shopping. I'm gonna try to do that tomorrow after, after I leave the gym, just because the store is right next to the gym. And honestly, between you and I, I'm tired of doing soccer graphics. <coughs> and it's not that I don't like soccer, but when it comes to finding images, the body movement, the body placement, the importance of the subject's position can really affect your graphic. And all soccer graphics, it's just not it. Like all soccer photos, they're all over the place. So it can be a little tedious when finding an actual good soccer picture. I did one team with six photos, and now I'm about to start the last six. I gotta do cutouts of them all.